fashion week all oh, year, throwing money in the air. She said, I'm with my lady, other girls, they want to hate her. It comes with the territory, ball players want to date her. Oh, we got us royalty, I'm treating you like royalty. I'm a spawn you every day of the week. Shot us in the bitch for party, yeah. Turn into the greatest party, yeah. Never see my baby coming. Just once, then we went up. And now we get a peek at some of the top players here for this Madden Ultimate Team matchup. Brandon God and Charles Davis ready to go in the booth. We hope you're ready to go at the controls. Let's play. Big left foot of Sebastian Janikowski ready to get us started. And off we go in Madden Ultimate Team. This is taken at his four. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. They come up in an offset eye. They'll run with a backup. This is Williams. And this defense feeling the encouragement. They stop him at the line of scrimmage on the first play of the afternoon. So nothing there. I don't know that that's all in the back, though. you got to look at blocking there, don't you? I would agree with that totally. At some point, they have to win at the point of attack. Instead, it was the defense getting it done again and holding them to no gain. To throw on second down is locked. Flushed out right, and incomplete there. A nice hit, jars the ball free, and brings up third down. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away, but the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. So now an early third and 10 here on their opening drive. <laughs> Throwing on third down, Luck flushed to his right. Looking again for Thomas, this time complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. He's such a good route runner, shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up the first down. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Well, he challenged the play. It did not pay off. And that means he lost a timeout in that challenge. And as a coach, you hate that. Don't know if you took the advice of the player. You threw it yourself but it didn't go your way. At the end of the day, it all comes back to the head coach. He has the final determination on whether to actually challenge the play or not. In this case, it didn't pay off for him. And that's got to be so heartbreaking. You throw that flag, you probably feel really confident, and then all of a sudden, boom, you lose the challenge. Yeah, when you take a look at it, you're throwing that flag because you believe you're going to be right. And when it comes back the other way, you have to regroup. Escaping the pressure right. On the run, he'll let this. And at the seven-yard line, the catch is made. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Keenan Allen, 50 yards. And the Colts are going to take a first-quarter lead. Terry for the point after. And this is good to make it 7 0 Indy. unit is out on the field and they will send this one away this will be fielded on the back line of the end zone right. 
Now Foles. Oh, he's going to air it out right away. And that one falls incomplete. Looked like he might have had position there, but he couldn't hold on it at second down. And when all else fails as a defender, when you're not there in the coverage, your best friend is exactly what we saw there. A big play shot taken by the offense. Unfortunately, it ended in a big drop. Now the first carry here for Todd Gurley. He takes this for three to the 29. Defensively, the tackle by Cam Chancellor. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Foles. Jordan Reed has it. A big play there for the Dolphins. 30 yards. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that, have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance, that'll drive a team towards a victory. The 20. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. Todd Gurley, 41 yards. And the Dolphins are an extra point away from tying up this football game. Sebastian Janikowski on for the PAT. It's good, and we're all tied at seven apiece. So we're right back where we started, all even as the kick's away. On the return, the old reliable Devin Hester, the veteran. And he'll get it up just past the 20, and his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. Here comes the Indianapolis offense now as they get set to take over. And they were able to punch it in the end zone last time. They'll be looking to do that again here for the defense. Obviously, they'll be looking to stop them from punching it back in the end zone. It always is punch-counterpunch, isn't it? And which team has the advantage? Well, let's just go back. Last time on offense, they rolled downfield, got into a good rhythm. You can see a little more bounce in and out of the huddle. You can see the sideline really get into the game. So defensively, you're thinking to yourself, how do we take that away from them? How do we get the advantage back? Let's see what they come up with. I think pressure is always the first way to go. <laughs> you love pressure. I love it. We'll see if they dial it up this drive. Second down now after the pass completion. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. Here's Locke. Steps away to his left. Looking left side and completing it to Thomas. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 23 yards on the play. We talk about mobility on quarterbacks all the time. Here's where it really pays off. Able to move, evade, and is accurate throwing on the run and picking up a first down. Now a first down carry, it's Williams. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Some runs are blocked so well, you almost forget that someone has to carry the ball to gain the yardage. The leverage by the offensive line to create space up front, really well done. Possible run anticipation here as the D-line sandwiches together. On second down, here's Love, eluding the pressure right. And he'll slide down to avoid the contact. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves the chains. How about that scramble by Andrew Luck? Sometimes we forget just how big, strong, and yes, fast Andrew Luck is. When he came out of college at the Combine, shocked everyone, ran a sub 4 eight forty. And he grew up a big soccer guy over in Europe, so he knows how to use his feet. That he does, and I think it's helped his legs along the way as well. Back with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The Colts in possession of the football to begin quarter number two. They've got a second down at five here to start things out. Here's Luck now on second down. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. It's a tried-and-true formula, and I don't think it'll change for as long as we play football. If someone's trying to throw the ball and you can put pressure on them and make it tough, that's only going to help your defense. Yeah, he's 
since being hurried, he got rid of it before taking the hit, but incomplete. Flushed out right. He can run for it, and he will. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. When they watch film of this game and hand out the grade sheets, he's going to really like getting a double plus on this play. Why? He scrambles and picks up a first down. But what else does he do? Protects himself by sliding and avoiding the big hit. Double plus, big time play. Just a yard on the catch there. It'll be second and nine. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Out of the gun, Luck. This will be caught just inside the 10. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. What terrifies defenses when they see slant routes thrown is that the receiver is on the move, and oftentimes he catches it and gets upfield. That's a really nice job rallying to him and stopping him for a minimal game. Dolphins bring on an extra defensive back on third down. To throw is Luck. That's complete right around the eight. The completion there winds up a wash, and it'll bring up fourth down. Pass complete, but no gain. No yards. Yeah. So you file that as unsuccessful. Yeah, you do, don't you? Except on the stats, throwing the ball. You get a completion. You get a catch. Yeah. But still, no, no yardage. Okay. And that field goal caps an 11-play drive. It's a lot of offense to run to only get three points, but they'll take them. Anytime you can put anything on the board, you run to your sideline somewhat happy. On the return, here's Dree Archer. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21-yard line. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. Last time they were out, they scored. Still trailing here, though, so some work to do. But it's okay in terms of mindset. Because they scored the last time, they're not quite as worried about being down on the scoreboard because now their confidence is a little bit higher. They feel like they got something going, and they feel like they can attack again and put more points on the board. Are you scoreboard watching if you're the offense, or are you just focused on this drive? It, it, we wouldn't be telling the truth if we said that they didn't score board watch. Everyone does it to some extent. But you've got to set it aside right now and just focus on this series. That'll take care of the scoreboard if they punch it into the end zone. Now the offense lining up first and ten. Here's Foles. A strong run. Now a hit and Foles loses the football. It's out. And fortunately he's able to reel it back in. But it's going to go down as a big loss here on the play. He got it stripped. But you can see the panic in his face from up here through the helmet. He was able to dive back on it. A good bit of fortune for him because oftentimes on a strip sack, when that ball is wrenched out of your grasp, it can go in any different direction. It can go way away from you. In this case, it didn't matter. He was able to get on it. Throwing left side, it's complete. 23 yards on the play. So the offense has it first and 10. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. The Philip Dorsett holds it in. 15 yards there for number 15. Let's make this one simple. What a catch, especially the finishing part of getting his feet in bounds, toe tapping, and of course, foot dragging. A little tapestry, if you will. Oh, I like it. Now it's Gurley. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Good luck trying to get your running game going against Indomitian Sue. I mean, he is so strong. Just trying to move him, take one guy, two guys, whatever. I wish you a whole lot of luck. He usually converts an offensive running game into rubble. And they'll set up the screen to Gurley. And now here's a timeout called by the Colts on the defensive side of the ball. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. And here comes play number six on this drive. Now Foles. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. As 
tight ends go, he might not provide the super flashy plays very often, but he's pretty reliable, usually an excellent target, and normally catches what's thrown to him, but he didn't on that play. On now the Miami field goal unit. From the right hash and call it an even 50 yards. And this won't get there, won't be on line either. It's no good, off to the right, and this score will stay right where it is. And that's the risk of the long field goal miss here at this stage of the second quarter. You give up great field position. And that gives them one more opportunity to make something happen and something big. And we've seen crazy stuff happen at the end of halves. Now a play fake here on first down. He's going to air one out. And it drops down incomplete. Thought he might have had it. Instead, second down. One thing I know from experience is that when the deep ball is thrown and you're the defender, you've got to fight that little bit of panic that emerges. You've got to play the ball really well. It's a 50-50 jump ball play. And guess what? They took a shot. How are you going to win it? And in this case, they managed to get it done. And he's unable to grab it. Thought he might have had position. Couldn't hold on. Third down. Well, they went for the big play there. But that drop could really hurt their momentum. So ways to go here on third and ten. They'll fake the handoff. Now Luck. He'll and he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Whitney Merciless in there to get him for a loss of nine. And that'll lead to fourth down. So on fourth down, here's Johnny Hecker to punt it away. Back deep, Dre Archer. This is Archer. And a seven-yard return following a punt of 45 yards. And possession will change here with very little time remaining until halftime. Defense really showing respect to the deep ball here, playing off the receivers. Foles. He's got the Colts are going to get him. Down he goes. And unless this is a quick incompletion, this is likely the last play here of this first half. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll be taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. Out comes the Dolphins now. They'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. Shift together here from the D-line. They'll come out in the pistol. Now this time he'll look to throw. Looking deep downfield. A 50-50 ball here and it's intercepted. Picked off. It's the Pro Bowl corner. Joe Hayden with it. And the possession is theirs at their own 43-yard line. A look at the offense now here coming back out on the road for their first possession of the second half. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with a game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. And that was a really nice play, be able to stack that one up. When they get back in the huddle, he's got, to, he's got to tell his guys up front, great job. They kept people off of him, allowed him to run free and make the hit on the runner. And filled the gap nicely, kept him to just a one-yard gain. Here's Luck now on second down. Looking middle, and it's caught by the tight end Clark. 
They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him, I don't think that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. The veteran Andre Johnson the target on that one, and that'll bring up second down. After watching him drop that slant, I can hear my old coach's voice ringing in my ears right now. You can't run with the ball until you catch it, trying to get those rack yards before he secured it. On second down, Williams. And he only manages a couple here down to about the 38-yard line. The linebacker, Ryan Shazier, there to make the tackle. We always like to talk about defense in terms of levels. First-level defensive line, second-level linebackers, third-level defensive backs. On that run, that was what we call a first-level run, and it was stopped by a second-level player. Rolling to his right, and he checks this one down to Williams. And he's able to get it to the 31, and that's enough for the first. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. So here we go, first and ten now. They come out five wide, three of them to the right side. Now Lump, quick slant, caught by Moore. A good pick up there, eight yards on the first down completion. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. And here comes play number six on this drive. They go back to the ground with Williams. It goes as a gain of eight, and it moves the chains. In my book, that's running the ball well, but with intelligence. How about him keeping the clock moving, staying in bounds? Yeah, even though it's the third quarter, you're thinking ahead, aren't you? This is where your running game can really help you with a lead in the second half. I agree totally. It's not just end-of-the-half situations that you worry about the clock. It's throughout the game, and with a lead, stay in bounds. Make them fight harder to try and catch you. They stick to the ground game on first down. It's Williams. They stopped after only a yard, taking it down to the 14. Mike Mitchell coming up from the secondary to make the stop. Tough day, tough sledding right there, and it's been that way the entire game. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. Yeah, you're right. It's been that way all afternoon. Didn't get a whole lot better there. Final minute now of the third quarter. On second down, here's Locke. He'll get it in the hands of Clark, complete. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. It's a good gain of 11, sets him up first and goal. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're And he takes it in for a Colts score. Ricky Williams taking it in from two yards out. And the Colts are able to grow their lead. And Charles, he's able to dive in there in a short yardage situation. Just find a place to get to the end zone. Didn't matter where it was, but once he did, used his nose for the end zone and dove in. The Colts kicking team is out there now, and they will send this one away. Here comes Philip Dorsett now to return it. And he will be marked out right there at the 20-yard line. Out comes the Dolphin offense now as they get set to take over here. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I can hear my old college coach right now. He always used to tell us before every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. But they're hoping is that that last mistake is their only one of the game. Coaches, that's all they talk about, turnovers, right? Minimizing those and maximizing opportunities. Everything about that play tells you about today's NFL offenses and what they're asking out of running backs. You can't just be a guy who can run the football. You have to be able to catch it as well. And he didn't get that done on that play. Now Foles. 
He's going to float this one deep right side. Now a clash of bodies here, and it's intercepted. Picked off. It's the Pro Bowl corner. Joe Hayden with it. And the Colts coming out now. And they'll just simply be looking to build off the confidence of the last time out where they scored a touchdown. And confidence is powerful, isn't it? When you've scored once, you feel like you can go back out there and get it done again. Doesn't matter what the defense throws at them. They feel like they're in a groove right now, and they want to get out there and show it. Yeah, hoping to stay in that groove here this go-around. After the interception, it's Luck. Flush to his right. Now he's going to throw deep right side. A fight for the football, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the Pro Bowler, Marcus Peters. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. The Dolphins' offense now heads back on the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by Brandon Flowers. And he'll take this down inside the 15-yard line. The Colts now, their offense works their way back onto the field. Now, last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. See what happens. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And caught right side. Green. Back now in Arlington. It's the Colts. They've got control of the football. They also have the lead as we start the fourth. Second and five. They'll hand it off now, Williams. And they'll lose yardage here. They go backwards to the 13-yard line. So he loses three yards there. Now third down. Throwing on third down, Luck forced out to his left. He may try and run for this. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. They'll give him eight on the play.
Y'all never played fair. So tell me why now should we care? Queen B told y'all a long time ago that we run the atmosphere. Did we build that? Yeah. Do we own that? Yeah. We even in the studios running playback. Shout out to Air and Sally, the young guard to all the G's like us. Yeah, we go hard. See, this is how we feel to be a champion. We might fall down, but we never run. You wouldn't need it if you knew what we overcome. Do you know what we overcome? But they ain't stopping nothing. Me and my girls on top, straight stunning. And we abide by a real strict code. Hands off my ex and homies over. Uh. If you try to shut us down. The young guard to all the girls like us, yeah, we go hard. See, this is how we feel to be a champion. We might fall down, but we never run. So proud of the that we overcome. Do you know, do you know, we overcome? We bow down to none. I want to hail out all my day ones. Time really does fly when you're having fun. But the body don't stop till we staring down the sun. Try to shut us down. We'll show you just how we get down. And just an even like the score. We
the killing is Yeah, I've been hard in the pain, not a single assist. Yeah, I've been flicking that wrist. Yeah, I've been that they f with this. Yeah, I've been killing it. Yeah, I've been hard in the pain, not a single assist. Yeah, I've been flicking that wrist. Yeah, I've been that they f with this. Yeah, I've been, yeah, I've been killing that, killing that. Yeah, I've been flicking that, flicking that wrist. Yeah, I've been killing that, flicking that, killing that, flicking that wrist. Yeah, I've been killing that. Yeah, I've been hard in the pain, not a single assist. Yeah, I've been flicking that wrist, flicking that, killing that, flicking that wrist. Let me take it about the young man. Matter of fact, I'ma let push tell that. Take it by the old man. Had to change a heart and it fell back. Old man lived a long life. Walk around with a long quick like Jesus, that Colombiana, that's me and models like. Yeah. Look at the flick of that wrist. I'm feeling like Leonardo. Let me paint the picture. I might need a bottle. On the road to success, I can fit a throttle. That Michael lands a low, hundreds in the envelope. Type when I write. And that old man had to change a heart. Wish he knew it back from the start. Like looked around, seen his wife on the Military all over the whole compound. Soon as it's seen it, I swear it, I mean it. My man was gone quicker than Bobbinos. He, he, she, she, he in jail. Everyone falling like dominoes. Yeah, I've been killing this. Yeah, I've been hard in the pain, not a single assist. Yeah, I've been flicking that wrist. Yeah, I've been that, that they f with this. Yeah, I've been killing this. Yeah, I've been hard in the pain, not a single assist. Yeah, I've been flicking that wrist. Yeah, I've been that, that they f with this. Yeah, I've been, yeah, I've been killing that, killing that, killing that. Yeah, I've been flicking that, flicking that wrist. Yeah, I've been killing that, flicking that, killing that, flicking that wrist. Yeah, I've been killing that, killing that. Yeah, I've been hard in the pain, not a single assist. Yeah, I've been flicking that wrist, flicking that, killing that, flicking that wrist. Logic. Clockwise, counterclockwise, really in the top five. Other four ain't rap. I'm just rapping for the side. Yeah, that's coastlines, Panama for the boat rides. Worth billions, and we ain't even need showtime. Just money counters and kitchenware, condo with a in there. We got rich in there. Been a trophy since the wine Sophie. Curry over Kobe. We shoot it. Splash brothers with the add in soap. Good fellas to my already oldest. Shades of blue, I it's you. Let the sky fall, let it rain on you. Yeah, I've been killing this. Yeah, I've been hard in the pain, not a single assist. Yeah, I've been flicking that bitch. Yeah, I've been that they with this. Yeah, I've been killing this. Yeah, I've been hard in the pain, not a single assist. Yeah, I've been flicking that bitch. Yeah, I've been that they with this. Yeah, I've been, yeah, I've been killing that, killing that, killing that. Yeah, I've been flicking that, flicking that wrist. Yeah, I've been killing that, flicking that, killing that, flicking that wrist. Yeah, I've been killing that, killing Yeah, I've been hard in the pain, not a single assist. Yeah, I've been flicking that wrist, flicking that, killing that, flicking that wrist.
Cause we've been putting in the mouth work. We only taking what was ours. So you better not be the one to doubt us. Cause we gon' blow your mind. Okay, okay, whoa, 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 we've been weaving on the road, 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 from the go, hit my glow, 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 you know, we've been down for too long to give up, can't go, I need all pace, souls, want it all, case closed, like a wild to the wild, to the wild, can't hold, to the ball game over, these boys can't hold me, you boys can't hold us, I told you, better not be the one to die. Cause we've been putting in the mouth We only taking what was ours So you better not be the one to doubt us Cause we gon' blow your Watching them dishes, I was just wishing I could just vision. I was gonna get it. I was on missions. I was just living. Walked in that building, we were just building, taking our time. We were just yielding. We were just chilling, away from these haters. Know they be watching like a theater. Yeah. Not in these niggas that we need later. They gon' be great as it won't delay us. This is what made us. We got Omega, probably roll. Probably just, probably just, uh, probably just leave. I see you later. I still new wake up, cop a new crib, got some new neighbors. You get this big, they gon' want favors. They gon' want flavors. Probably roll. Hope the Lord save us away from these haters. Hope the Lord save us away from these snakes. Away from these fakes. Wait, I need breaks. Wait, I need cake. How long can we wait? Come on, better not be the one to doubt us. Cause we've been putting in the mouth. We only taking what was ours. So, so you better not be the one to doubt us.
clock is broken Never stopping, never slowing Yeah, we're living wide open Unwinding every moment Like the clock is broken Never stopping, never slowing Yeah, we're living wide open
dose of chlorum, e pluribus unum. They changing climates and replacing humans in fracking soils, wild bordeaux and forests. But they can't defeat us, they could not destroy us. For the average team, CFOs are after cream. GMOs extracting genes with every one on my TV. Only. vibes only. Some crazy. 